pastor Wayman Mitchell. When I asked if he had a message for Guam's large gay community, he told me only Jesus can show them the way. They're not happy. They're miserable, and Jesus Christ can set them free. We have uh, people from every walk of life that have come to Christ and been transformed. That's really what they long for. Mitchell, the founder of CFM, which includes Guam's own Victory Chapel and 2,300 other churches in nearly 100 different countries, was on Guam conducting a faith healing at Epau Beach. Mitchell drawing his share of controversy. He's been accused of being a Christian cult leader who brainwashes followers. And he's also been the target of several investigative news pieces, including one by Dan Rather. His use of a homophobic slur during a sermon about men who wear earrings raised some eyebrows, but largely escaped national attention. But I wouldn't wear anything that little faggots are going to wear, because those are things that little faggots put in your ears. Adrian Davis, a social work intern with Guam's Gay and Lesbian Alliance, is no stranger to the slur. That's a term that... I have dealt with over the past few years that I've been growing up in school. I've been called that and it's hard. I don't think it's appropriate to be calling people that, but at the same time, maybe sometimes we just need to help educate people. While Mitchell's remarks may have sparked outrage from LGBTQ groups in the States, here on Guam, Mitchell's comments were met with tolerance and strangely enough, acceptance. At the end of the day, it's, it's what people choose to believe. People have become more accepting, uh, for one, like my father, uh, of the lifestyle, but at the same time, I think comments like that may cause some confusion with people who are already trying to understand us. And Mitchell says what he preaches may offend some, but the gospel hasn't always been accepted by everyone. As a matter of fact, Christ was crucified because he was confronting sin. While gala reps may disagree with what Mitchell is saying, they say they respect his beliefs, even if they believe those beliefs are wrong. We just need to understand where people are coming from. What would your message be to him? We're not miserable, um, and we're very happy. Are you miserable like the pastor says? No, not at all. I'm actually very happy. Thank you. <laughs> and that isn't even the whole story. Join me Sunday on the social media networks and stations of KUAM as I take a closer look at why Catholics are leaving the faith and why one priest thinks some of them will eventually come back to the fold. That's Sunday, episode 9 of the Malfunction Show. And you'll definitely want to make sure to tune in for that. Thanks, Chris. All right, please stay tuned, everybody. We will be back right after this. There are more ways to experience KUAM news than any other source on Guam. Download the KUAM news app for your Apple or Android device for 24-7 news, sports, videos, weather, streaming, KUAM radio, and important news alerts. And stay connected at home with Guam's first app for Apple TV. All available now from the App Store. Half the day, I'm in the club. Half the day, welcome to Two Lovers Point. Half the day, I'm in the club. Leave no room for doubts this Valentine's Day by heading to it &E. For February only, get your boo the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 for just $59. And for the Apple lovers, get the 10 for just $199 on the 40 gig 4G LTE data plan. Or two S8s for just $199 on a share plan. This sweetheart deal is available for a limited time only. Cars Plus and Mighty has the trucks. And during Ram Truck Month, save up to $97.50 on new Ram trucks. Cars Plus has a great selection of 2018 Ram trucks. Plus, shop our remaining 2017 Ram 1500s. Vote at Guam's best truck two years in a row. The Ram truck comes with a five-year, 60,000-mile powertrain warrant. And with 1.99 APR financing for qualified buyers, there's no better time to buy than now. It's Ram Truck Month, and only Cars Plus and Mighty has the trucks. Cars Plus, driven by you. I'm Johnny Good, new face of Heineken Light. It has everything you want in a light beer, and it tastes great. Finally, a light beer that has it all. Thanks for that. We'll give you a call. I'm just going to try something real fast. 
What, what are you doing? It's cold. I'm hot. It's like science. The light beer that has it all. Do you know your way out? This way. Low calories, low alcohol, and a great taste deserves a spokesperson that has it all. Connect with KUAM News. Find us on your favorite social media platform. Follow us and stay in the know with Guam's news leader. Hoffman, welcome back. At least 17 killed and others injured after a teenager opens fire at a high school in South Florida. The chaos bringing a large response from law enforcement. Now, although the shooting happened thousands of miles away from our island, it now has local police departments across the country and right here at home, making sure their officers are always ready for the unexpected. Nick Delgado explains in our next story. Staying on their toes when it comes to an active shooter call. It all starts with training and it all starts with our officers understanding each and every individual's roles and responsibility in responding to something like this uh, situation of this size of magnitude. The nightmare unfolding today in this Parkland, Florida high school ended with more than a dozen dead and others injured. The gunman, a 19-year-old former student, taken into custody. The motive under investigation, but Florida Governor Rick Scott called the shooting pure evil. We send our condolences out to the families and friends who may be in Florida. The shooting brought out a major response from law enforcement. It's that sort of action that GPD Sergeant Paul Tapal says they constantly practice. We have officers that are trainers who provide the training on a uh, continual basis. Our first line of defense are our patrol officers. So each and every officer that we see on the road are, have been trained with the active shooter situation or active shooter training, and it's a directed threat approach. That approach, meaning those officers are first on scene and first to take out any potential threat. GPD also trains with local schools and private businesses on lockdown and emergency procedures, and in an active shooter situation, when to hide, run, or fight back. We're learning from all the experiences and all the incidents that are happening. Reporting for Guam's News Network, Guahu Sinek Delgado. He's accused of raping two teenage girls. Court documents stating the victims, 14 and 15 years old, reported the incidents to the Dededo Precinct earlier this week. Through a translator, they reported being raped by 38-year-old Wiris Lataro multiple times over the past year. The younger victim saying the sexual assault started when Lataro would ask for a massage. Lataro was arrested and charged with five counts of first-degree criminal sexual conduct as a first-degree felony. Well, perhaps you've seen certain island residents hustling for donations at busy intersections or sleep at public parks. These are, of course, our communities homeless. Now, the legislature held a roundtable meeting on how to address that problem facing that island's growing population with representatives from nonprofit groups and government agencies that provide service describing the many challenges and offering some possible solutions. For example, Diana Calvo of Catholic Social Services said the tiny house concept shared by the late Guam housing director Martin Benevente for street homeless. From there, I was also doing a lot of research and found that in the Philippines and in Japan, they also have these structures where it's almost portable. You can take it apart and then put it back together. Um, and in the PI, it will be even more affordable because you know, uh, they are developing it so that it also can withstand typhoon strength winds. The panel also identified transportation and affordable child care as other critical needs. The committee chair, Senator Tinlina Nelson, says she'll schedule a follow-up meeting on homelessness within a few weeks. Jeeps, trucks, ATVs, the essentials for any off-roading enthusiast. And while wheeling around in the dirt and mud can be fun, experts say it also poses a danger to the environment. Our next story is with R. Kehani Mendiola. Living on Guam is an outdoor lover's dream. There's no shortage of activities to include off-roading, but the practice of reckless off-roading poses serious threats to the environment. That's why concerned citizens are coming together to do something about it. Off-roading has been one of our uh, environmental uh, challenges that people have thought of pretty often in Guam. Dr. Austin Shelton is the executive director for the University of Guam's Center for Island Sustainability. Reckless off-roading or irresponsible off-roading can lead to um, erosion uh, that gets uh, down through our watersheds uh, and out to uh, smother and kill our coral reefs. Which are important resources for our island and people. But adventure seekers won't have to say goodbye to this thrilling activity. There's actually ways to off-road in a responsible manner that um, protects the existing uh, trails, uh, doesn't affect the, the nearby environments, and we would like to 
uh, discuss some of those issues. A discussion that had UOG Center for Island Sustainability, Sea Grant, and EPSCOR facilitating a roundtable discussion. Led by Cars Plus, Cycles Plus, and Let's Ride Guam, the talks aim at creating guidelines to off-road responsibly. While official guidelines are still developing, Dr. Shelton has a few suggestions. Some things that come to mind are uh, rotation of off-road trails, putting sediment buffers or trees around uh, the existing trails, and uh, also not uh, doing things like what's called digging out and off-roading, uh, where if you get stuck in the mud, you force yourself out, but having somebody tow you. Ultimately, the discussion is a joint effort, and Dr. Shelton hopes that once guidelines have been established, off-roading groups and companies will adopt them. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Kiani Mediola. It's an interesting topic and certainly worth looking into, and if you would like more information, you can check uog.edu slash CIS. Sports is next, but first, here's your weather forecast. Binging movies in bed shouldn't make you want to hide under the covers when the bill arrives. That's why all of GTA's home internet plans are unlimited. We believe that you deserve better than home internet with hidden data fees. Because you should be able to cuddle without worrying about bill trouble. So the choice is yours. Bill shock with the other guys or a life unlimited with GTA. Say goodbye to hidden data fees and make the switch today to GTA. Your island, your network. The Down Syndrome Association of Guam exists to support families of individuals with Down Syndrome. We're a group of parents who have children with Down Syndrome and know the joys and challenges of raising them. For more information about the health, development, and education of a child or adult with Down Syndrome, please contact Vicki Ariola at 472-6114. I solemnly swear to love you, hold you, and keep you as my little secret, and, and to hold you, I think about you all the time, hold you, because you have that special something, I rediscover your love for the Big Mac and its special sauce, and for a limited time, try the Mac Jr. and Grand Big Mac. KUAM Sports is presented by Triple J. Off at 8, Marianas, Guavasi, Chris Barnett, KUAM Sports, proudly brought to you by Triple J. And you know how we do last two Thursdays of every month, we put a little shine on outstanding student athletes in a segment we like to call Game Changers. Call my sisters are here to show you girls are strong too. Deamaya Deilani Kalma, Olympic style weightlifters. Both attend JFK and both will rep Guam at this year's Micro Games in Yap. Deamaya took bronze at the Metro Weightlifting Championships in the Philippines as a sophomore, and she says lifting for Guam is an honor. I get to represent the island I come from, and I can also influence other people in joining the sport and also representing the island. Dea Lani is a junior at JFK. She also took bronze in the Metro of NMPI. She's addicted to hitting the box. Both sisters training out of CrossFit Chamurai. I enjoy coming here and with my team and the feeling of whenever you PR or just training in general, it's really fun. Dea Maya says the sisters jumped in weightlifting and CrossFit after following their parents to a workout. Our coach, Coach Ed, he noticed our mobility in uh, while lifting weight, so he suggests that, oh, we should try weightlifting. Deilani says when they hit the gym, it's time to get down to business. We do like the regular clean and jerks and snatches, but you also have to incorporate accessory work to like 
build up muscle and uh, to get stronger. The sisters have competed in nearly 10 local competitions. Dea Maya lifting at 58 kilograms and Dea Lani at 48 kg. Dea Maya has a PR of 138.6 pounds at the clean and jerk and Dea Lani PR at 127 pounds. Between the two sisters, of those 10 local competitions, they have seven top three finishes. You have to be ready to lift the weight and just be aggressive when you're out there competing. Dea Maya says even though the sisters do a lot of lifting weights, they still prioritize picking up books and concentrating on their studies. It is important to maintain your grades because it, it shows that you're a good um, student athlete and people can also look up to you on that. You can inspire people. At the end of the day, the sisters enjoy being ambassadors of Olympic style weightlifting. It feels really great. Uh, we, we can inspire other kids our age or younger to come out and try the sport. With both girls getting ready for the micro games, they hope to bring home some medals for the island. Until then, they'll lift each other up because for the Kama sisters, the sky is the limit, and that's what makes Dea Maya and Dea Lani Kalma game changers. Once again, I'm Chris Barnett. Thank you so much for watching Marianas. This has been KUAM Sports. Adios. It doesn't matter how many records I break or how many rings I win. I know I can always be better. There are two of me. There's the person I am and the person I'm driven to be. We're in a constant chase to become the best version of myself. Infinity, empower the drive. How does tourism work for Guam? Half a day! Half a day. Tourism tax dollars fund improvements around our island. Tourism helps maintain our community centers and public parks. Tourism dollars are invested where it counts, promoting village shops and locally made products. Tourism keeps the spirit of our past alive through restoration of historical sites. Tourism supports environmental efforts that protect our natural resources. Tourism improves our quality of life. It helps make Guam a better place to live, work and visit. Tourism works for Guam! Hi, I'm Carl Lamort, the new face of Heineken Light. It has everything you want from a light beer, and it tastes great. Finally, a light beer that has it all. It's a little intense. I've only ever played villains. Let's try gentler. I could do gentler. Hi, I'm Carl Lamort, the new face... Uh, the light beer that has it all? We'll give you a call. I'll give you a call. Low calories, low alcohol, and a great taste. She deserves a spokesperson that has it all. With every era comes two things. Change. And a Honda Accord that defines a generation. Introducing the all-new Accord. The most impressive Honda ever. It has been quite a while since we did birthday shout outs. Sure has. All right, here are tonight's new inductees, courtesy of Coldstone Creamery. Happy 14th birthday to Kieran Toe from Mom, Greg, and Kyan. Happy birthday to Davina Benavides, celebrating her 40th birthday. We love you, Mom, coming from the family. Happy birthday to Alejo Concepcion Sablon from your family. And happy birthday to Xander Zane Bernardo Ignacio. Happy birthday to Darlene Bloss. And happy sixth birthday to Trevin John from Mommy and the Family. Okay, it has been a couple weeks since we did that segment, but the rules have not changed. All you got to do, go to KUM.com, register, then tune in and tell all your friends. Share it, tag people, forward, right. regram, do all of that. retweet. That's right, stay tuned in the mix. Bookmark, next. copy. 
Closed captioning is brought to you by IT&E.